In this video, we're going to learn about the standard error stream in C, so all input and output in C occurs over streams, and there's three built-in streams in C. There is the standard input stream, there is the standard output stream, and there is the standard error stream. Now a stream is an abstraction. Ultimately, a stream is going to be something tangible, like a file or maybe the terminal. Now in C, by default, standard input is going to be keyboard input from the terminal, and standard out and standard error are going to be text output to the terminal. Now it's possible to redirect these streams. So for example, standard input could come from somewhere like a file, and standard output could be redirected to a file. Now the printf function is going to output to the standard output stream, whatever that is. So if we have, let's say, printf, and we have some output here, followed by a new line, and we save our program, and compile it, and run it, we'll get here some output on the terminal. If we want to output something to standard error, we can use the function fprintf. fprintf works just like printf, except it accepts as a first argument, a stream. So we could have here, let's say fprintf, and we'll have as the first argument, the stream stderr, which is the standard error stream. Then the rest of the function arguments work just like printf, so we can have next a format string. We'll have error code colon and percent %d to output an int value, and then backslash n for a new line. And then we could have the error code here. Let's say 415. Then if we save the program and compile it and run it, we'll get here error code colon 415. So by default, standard error is also going to result in terminal output, which begs the question, why use it? So we can redirect both standard output and standard error. So for example, we could have here dot slash D and we'll have greater than output.txt. This is going to redirect standard output to the file output.txt. If we run this, we'll only get error code 415 on the terminal. We can then see the contents of output.txt and we'll see some output is there. We can also redirect standard error. So we could have here dot slash D and then two greater than errors.txt. And if we run this, we'll now get some output on the terminal and in the file errors.txt, we'll get error code 415. We could even redirect both streams. So we could have here dot slash D and then two greater than and errors two dot txt and then greater than output two dot txt. And if we check out the contents of errors two dot txt, we get error code 415. And if we check out the content of output two dot txt, we'll get some output. And we didn't get any output to the terminal here. So using standard error allows us to separate the error output of a program from the regular output of the program. Maybe we can also output log messages to standard error as well. This can be very useful because maybe we can log any warnings or errors to a file as the user interacts with a program on the terminal. It's also very common to redirect the standard output of one program to the standard input of another program using what are called pipes. If our program outputs warnings and error messages to standard error and output to standard output, this means another program is free to use that program's output as input without worrying about error messages or warnings being in that input stream. At the same time, the user could potentially still see any error messages or warning messages output to the terminal. Now, unlike standard output, the standard error stream is typically not buffered. This means anything we output to the standard error stream is going to be output right away. So it's a best practice to use standard error to output error messages, warning messages, and maybe even log messages. So this is how we can use the standard error stream in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com 
where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.